So, I had an anxiety attack with my dick out, as one does. I know what you're thinking, alright? Why are you talking about dick within the first five seconds of the video? Are you okay? What does that have to do with not taking advice? All great questions. The answer to those in order, I'm sorry, no, and a lot. But I promise this video will be just as tame as all my others. So, not at all. So, this whole thing starts in co- Wait, hold on, hold on. <sighs> We talked about interrupting, especially during collabs. Ah, uh, but this is important, I promise. <sighs> All right, what is it? So you're making a video giving advice on why you shouldn't take advice. So this whole thing starts in college, which has been an era that's made me realize I've never been good at making decisions for myself. For some context, one time I couldn't decide if I wanted to order Popeye's chicken or cook some chicken. So I thought it over for three hours. I thought about chicken for three hours. I think this is what disappointing your whole race feels like. And you know, everyone else has been doing the exact same kind of stuff. Like, you know how it usually goes, right? You can't decide what you want, so you take too long to decide, so then you end up settling, and then you inevitably make a video on the internet talking about how you had your penis. Basically, what I'm getting at here is that everyone feels making decisions for themselves is hard. In that right, Taps? Not really. Exactly. I'm not- Wait, what'd you say? I said not really. Yo, cut, cut the video. Cut the video first. Yo, before this, I thought you said you thought it was hard. No, I said it's not that hard. See? How did I misread that? You really think it's that hard? Yo, yes. When I was really young, my parents would always have me make big decisions for myself, and I hated it. You hated someone not telling you what to do? Yeah, in fact, I remember hoping someone would kidnap me and decide everything for me instead. What? Yeah, in exchange, I would, like, work for them around the house. It was weird. I think you just described... slavery. Huh. Look, the way I see it, sometimes you need to put your foot down, make a decision, and just stop acting like a bitch. Wait. Bitch. You censor curse words? Bitch. Bitch. Fuck. Bitch. bitch. We're getting way off bitch. track here. Can we bitch. get back to- Wait, did someone tell you to do that? What, censor my curses? Well- yeah, but I- Ah. Wait, why are you awing? This isn't an awe moment. Look, everyone censors. Now, for the last time, we gotta focus on the- Oh, I think I get it. Hmm? So your problem is that you have to have other people decide things for you. You're gonna ruin this. Okay, can we just run, run the video back, please? Since I never really had much confidence in my own decision-making skills, over the past few years, I've lived by this mantra my dad taught me, right? There's wisdom in the multitude of counsel. Basically meaning, Ask people for their opinion, it'll help. To have other people decide things for nah, I, I, And I took that to heart because I'd ask everybody for opinions. Friends, family, a Twitter, in really desperate situations, whoever could give me an opinion. And, and it's fine because it's a good, wholesome, and respectful way to get a better understanding. You know, a lot like cheating. You collect what everyone thinks the answer could be, and usually the most of one answer is the right one. I, I mean, come on, it makes sense. I mean, think about it. I'm sure Kanye West probably wouldn't have said slavery was a choice if he, like, you know, like, like asked someone. <laughs> we talk about slavery a lot. I swear it doesn't usually come up this much. So, like with this channel, I didn't know if I should bleep out cuss words, so I asked people if I should, and they said yeah, and then boom, is now out of my hands, decision made by majority rule. Okay, but you titled this video, Why You Should Stop Listening to Advice. You've been preaching the opposite. Okay, good setup. Yep, it's because I've been absolutely f***ing wrong this entire time. Ha <laughs> About the censoring? What? Oh, I, I thought you knew. Okay, I, no, about the- About the slavery? What the f No, I'm talking about Just the- Just do it one time. Do slavery one time? No, uncensor a curse word. Oh, well, one, no. And two, I was talking about why I was wrong to take everybody's advice. And it took a pantsless panic attack to, to realize that. We're gonna talk about that now. Tabs, why are you- <laughs> So, as a lot of you know, my biggest passion is YouTube. YouTube, to me, is comparable to the people who want to go to the Peace Corps and, and save people's lives and, like, bring fresh water overseas and shit. Making dick jokes on the internet is my building homes in Guatemala, right? Now, not too crazy long from today, I started to question how to make my YouTube Guatemalan dick jokes work. Because at the time, for some reason, I just wasn't happy. I, I didn't really know why. And this gave me anxiety. Like, heavy anxiety like if my mental health was horsepower it would be three 
human life. So to fix this, I leaned on my mantra, wisdom in the multitude of counsel, and I consulted my counsel on their thoughts on what they like and what might work for me. And yo, I hit up a lot of people. Like I had presidential cabinet levels of opinions here. And usually this stuff works, like the more the better, right? Right? As I heard more views from different people, I started to see a pattern that there wasn't one. People told me completely contradictory stuff. Hey, yo, try to be funny. Yo, make it serious. I might as well have been in a boardroom with everyone and been like, so should I post on Tuesdays or on Saturdays? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yo, it started to drive me over the edge. Every contradicting opinion and piece of advice made me lose a grip on any kind of vision I had on what worked. Now, I didn't want to like die, you know, so I figured I had to come up with a solution and I did. This time when I went to that hypothetical boardroom, I knew what to do. Okay, so for this next video, should we be analytical or should we be personality based? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay, let's go to lunch. I was gonna do it all in one Cronenberg-ass idea, and it was glorious. So I worked on that for days, yo, days on end. And the day I finally finished it, I was cool and satisfied. And yo, there was no way they're gonna think down on this one, all right? I, I cracked the code, everything worked this time. It, it had what everyone wanted. And as usual, I hit up a few friends to get their thoughts. And all it took was two messages. Yo, it was really good. I didn't think it was that good. There's the panic attack, I promise. Like, I could feel it deep in my chest. I was completely lost after that. Any semblance of direction I had was gone. I don't know what that sound effect was. Wait, I thought you said you were pantsless. Oh, yeah, I was. I was taking a shit the entire time. Uncensor cr- No. Like, have you ever been pooping and then had a massive existential dread just hit you like that? Like, the top two things you can have in life are good credit and a shit. And I couldn't even have that. But on the bright side, the fact that I was taking a shit is probably one of the most important parts of this story. I know it's weird. So, still sitting on the toilet, pants around my ankles, I turn off all notifications for all apps and messages. Because I was so stressed and just so done that I didn't want to hear anything from anyone anymore. And I sat on that toilet, not looking at anything, just in my own head for an hour which considering what I've been in my own head for before, um, actually was pretty tame. Now, I don't know if you ever sat on the toilet for an hour not pooping, just sitting there with your pants down, but it's definitely a life-changing experience. See, let me tell you why. What I was doing this whole time was thinking, thinking what I was gonna do, how I was gonna do it, yada, 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 yada. But what was different about this, aside from having my dick out when I did it, was that I was considering what I wanted to do without the help of someone else, without any outside communication, period, for an hour. I didn't look for validation while I was sitting there depressed. I was really just considering what I wanted for once. And then like in this moment, I kind of just realized I'm happy. And yo, I felt like a new man. Like if you're having an existential crisis, go immediately to the toilet and I promise it'll help a lot. Pro actually don't. After I got out the toilet, I deleted most of my apps, a Twitter, a Discord, most stuff where I could talk to people. I was going completely off the grid, MIA. I didn't want any opinions this time. I wanted to find out what my own opinion was again. After taking some time, I worked on a video, finally uploaded it. And man, let me tell you. So what you're saying is you stopped listening to everyone's advice and the video came out perfect? Oh no, the video did sh Oh. See, I was honestly fine with the videos all. I felt great because it was my idea. And maybe if I had a little more confidence in myself, I'd realize I'm not actually the worst person to listen to. But I kind of realized that that didn't mean I should stop listening to everyone. Because I mean, this this thing was still garbage. Just because I was happy with it does not mean it's not garbage. Which leaves us in a tricky situation. Advice can take you off track, but you also can't do it on your own. And obviously you gotta go for the middle ground, right? Shrinking that pool and picking what actually 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 work from people who actually actually know what they're talking about and as long as you're actually actually not just following them with blind faith more of the story i'm not saying advice and criticism is bad right it's actually necessary and my mantra wasn't wrong at all i'm just saying if you depend on it too much putting your faith in just the opinions of others you're not you anymore you're something else and that's what happened to me 
You get it? Oh no, I get it. People have an opinion or a suggestion, usually with good intentions. But if you listen to everybody, every bit of advice, you could lose what inspired you in the first place. What's important is learning to navigate through advice, because a lot of it is subjective. You can't put all your value in other people to make decisions for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, don't listen to advice. Figure out if it's the right advice to listen to. It was not that corny. So like with the censoring thing, again, I got advice from others to do it, sure, okay, and maybe I, I did it because they said so, but I'm deciding for myself now that's something I should take into account, and I'm chill with that. Oh, what's up, y'all? Well, thank you guys for watching, especially if you made it this far, like, dang, <laughs> thank you. So very, very important, if you like the video, consider subscribing to the channel. They're all pretty much like that. It's, it, it's, we have a fun time here, at least we try to. I'd love to give a huge, huge shout out for Tabs for being in this video. You were awesome. She's been wonderful this whole time dealing with me. Big thanks to Get Mad for doing the thumbnail. I have been dying all week trying to get this video out, so you doing that has been a blessing. That's really about it. Nothing really extraordinarily special this time. All right, so, thanks for watching. Peace.